Up at Utah State University, among the calculations and tools in the Propulsion Research Laboratory, you'll find literal rocket scientist Stephen Whitmore. I actually started, believe it or not, as an intern at co-op at NASA back in 1976. And his students. Our best students in the, our department here can compete with the best students anywhere in the country. Like Ryan Thibodeau. And it's been a great experience so far. Working on something, pardon the pun, out of this world called a hybrid rocket a combination of solids and liquids to make it go. Your oxidizer in a fluid state, it could be a gas or it could be a liquid, and our fuels are in solid states. But what they use for their solid fuel will blow your mind. We often use uh, 3D printed plastics as our fuel. It's called ABS plastic, acrylonitrile, butadiene, styrene. It's the same plastic that it, your Legos are made out of. You heard that right. With a simple 3D print of common plastics, They've literally used Legos to build a rocket. And across the street from their lab. Today we're going to be testing a 1,000 Newton hybrid rocket. The team was fast at work. In, on our setup, we got to do some For a test. Yeah, I got connection. <clears throat> yep, everything's tightened down. To reach a new benchmark. If we get a successful light today, this will be the biggest thrust that we've tested in this lab. Everything set, it was time for ignition. Auto sequence start. Five, four, three, two, one. The motor had worked brilliantly, but had they hit their mark? As the data poured in... How we go for thrust? Okay. Looks like we hit it. 250. The data showed clear as day they had. Well, we got exactly what we wanted today. So what does this mean? Well, the rocket you just saw could literally be put on something in space. And so what we're targeting is basically the upper stage and in space where a smart rocket can do a huge amount of stuff. Meaning it can be applied for moon landings, lunar ascents, Martian ascent. And then there's the cost. This costs about $10 to produce. That compared to the thousands it would take to produce a rocket motor with the same thrust with today's technology. It's even way more efficient and less toxic than anything used today. We've been able to actually reproduce the capabilities of a lot of these toxic systems. You could literally put this on an airplane and fly across the world with it. So soon, space might have a lot more Utah in it, thanks to the geniuses at USU. It's moving out in the industry. People are starting to use what we're doing. Spencer Joseph. There's not a limit to what you can do. Fox 13 News, Utah.